for the first uh, sort of snowfall, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, we did not stay the night in the cabin uh, when the snow was falling. Unfortunately, we were talking about it. Uh, but yeah, hey, um, but we're gonna be coming up here today and kind of enjoying it. I have to finish up a couple of projects and then I've got to clean everything up. We have to leave town uh, to go home tomorrow. So unfortunately, this is the part I can't ever stand. I just want to stay up here forever um, because I love it. But unfortunately, we got to go back to the normal everyday life, you know, and uh, get that going again. So um, I have to hang up those solar panels. I tried doing it the other day and it just didn't work out. I didn't like where they were at. I've made the decision to put them both up high. I realize that that's not ideal in the summertime, but right now when we have snow coming down, um, snow is gonna blow right in on them if they're not high enough. And sometimes the snow can get several feet deep. Uh, we've had this cabin, we have, a, we have had a trail cam on this cabin before and the snow's gotten up to, you know, three, four feet deep. So um, it'll just bury them unless they're high up enough. The main thing I wanna have happen is for those batteries to stay charged through the winter. I need them to be 100%. Um, it's gonna freeze, it's gonna do whatever it's gonna do in there even if it's not insulated, but I'm gonna try to kind of get them up off the floor because the floor is not insulated in there. Uh, we're gonna try to come up here around Christmas time again. So it shouldn't it shouldn't be, you know, it should be another month and a half. We'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see if it's still holding up. The nice thing about that is if we can't get up here and we can only say hike in, well, We'll have batteries, we'll have solar, we'll be able to turn the lights on, get the fire going, and, and run it for a couple hours at least. And, uh, you know, we won't need to bring a generator, and that's going to be pretty cool. That's pretty much it. We're going to be uh, just enjoying the day, uh, the last day up here. And, um, yeah, just kind of getting everything cleaned up. I got, I got to move some stuff around, um, just kind of tidy it up a little bit up here. We we've, we've did a lot of work this week. It was really cool. Um, to get some of these projects finally done. So some other news that I haven't really been able to, well, there's some new developments. Um, where I work, I haven't really talked about what I do, where I work, all that kind of stuff, um, just for various reasons. When I first got there, the, the it just was against the rules. Um, so I've always, been, I've always kept those two things kind of separate, like what we do here on the channel and what I do at work. And, um, you know, just to, just to keep it above board. I'm, I'm pretty sensitive to that kind of stuff. Uh, some things have changed, actually. I just got almost, like I'd say maybe like the yellow light, maybe green light. Um, I wanna, I, I'm always very much the, I'm always the kind of person that says, like, you got to get the paperwork done, sign on the dotted line, and then we'll do it. But um, they've sort of given me the green light, almost. Uh, the green light with some, you know, slight rules or whatever, which is understandable, to talk about more what I do. Uh, for them and I think it's cool because it's something I've avoided talking about if you're keen and you've observed you know my apparel and kind of what I wear and stuff you can probably figure out what I'm doing where I work and all that kind of stuff I'm not super secretive about it but I am I don't talk about the job I don't talk about any of that but the, the cool thing is that it ties in almost directly to this whole uh, self-reliance kind of thing and there's a reason I went to work for that company so um, I really enjoy it there. It's a super fun company. I wish it was like right here next to the cabin. That'd make it like even better, but it's not possible right now. So um, they've almost given me the green light to talk about what I do. And I think that'd be super fun because I think the, the viewers of this channel um, and the reach that we could have uh, with that type of information would be pretty fun. Hey, if they get that stuff uh, worked out and, and all penciled in and it looks like something that would be beneficial to them. It's gotta be beneficial to them uh, as a company, which is completely understandable. Um, if it's too weird for me, I won't do it. Uh, but um, if they give me the green light to start talking about some of this stuff, that's gonna be, you know, that's gonna be really some fun stuff. Um, so, you know, I don't wanna kinda like tease that out there. I really don't have all the final answers yet, but um, I'm kinda looking forward to it. They basically just said, go ahead and do it, but I'm like, eh, let's, let's Let's like write it down first, you know, make sure we're following the rules. So, so it's almost a green light. I'm pretty excited um, and they're pretty excited about it. So just stay tuned for that. It's not gonna happen this trip. I'm, I'm not gonna show anything or say anything um, in detail, but um, it'll give us some content and some other future, for some future videos that you're gonna see here if it all goes good. So 
Um, I'm pretty excited about that. That really kind of adds to the whole flavor of things here and the whole content and, and what we're trying to do here with preparedness and self-reliance. It really ties in nice. So um, that's some little bit of news. Um, what else? Um, yeah, we're just going to wrap it up here. I'm going to get everything going. And unfortunately, uh, yeah, we gotta we got to wind this down. Uh, one more project. Got to put those panels up, and I'll show you. I'll show you that in this video if we uh, get to it. So one thing I forgot to do, and I'm glad I remembered, is I'm going to put some caulking around this inlet. Uh, once I did, I knew I was going to like regret doing it, but um, I just remembered that snow sometimes gets up here. Rain doesn't typically get up this high, but snow does. So if I put a little bit of this around it, it's going to be fine. Um, just a little bit, and then eventually I'm going to move these. Probably move them higher because I just I didn't I didn't think, and I wanted to make it easy to kind of experiment with. But this will be fine. It'll probably be fine forever. But you just don't want to have any snow getting in or water coming in. So I'm just going to seal that up real good. It's sealed up really good now. The uh, photo cell, the uh, solar panel line. You're just kind of making it nice. You're getting it up out of the way, off the ground. So I'm just going to tuck it in up under the eaves here. If I can, I don't drop it. I'm going to kind of keep pulling this stuff up and just make it nice and clean and get it up out of the way. And uh, it looks a little ugly out front. I'm. I may end up rerouting it. I just didn't see a good way in over here because I already insulated it all. So uh, I may end up just putting a different inlet in up above, like one of those RV ones, like I mentioned before, and then that'll clean it up. But uh, for the time being, I'm just going to run it as it is, put some sealant around it, some silicone sealer, call it good, and then uh, maybe in the spring we'll rearrange stuff. In reality, it'll probably this will probably be how it stays, uh, but I don't know. We'll we'll, uh, we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get to it.